I'm Ruthie. We're at the Eight Ball Diner on the A12 in Whitton, and with with Rockabilly Rod Martin and Natalie, and they run this venue, which is uh, quite a new venue on Sunday. So, uh, hi Rod. How long has this um, venue been going? Um, it's three months. This has been going now. And how often is it? Every Sunday. It's every first Sunday of the month. Every, okay. Will that be all round the year or? That's year round. Yeah. Wow. And what's the, the full address of, of this? It's the Eight Ball Diner, London Road, Whitton, in essence. Okay. Right, so uh, we'll have a little tour around because it's um, inside the diner. It's a sort of American style diner and they've got DJ and all sort of uh, lovely food. And outside it's all classic American hot rod vehicles. So we'll have a little tour around, have a look at the vehicles. Right. Okay. So um, let's start here in the corner. Nice little hot rod here. So, Triumph Herald based, 27 bodied hot rod, um, hand built by the uh, the father of the, the lad who drives it. He's only young, he's only 24, very lucky to own something like this. <laughs> okay. I will just try and take you a little tour around, show you what's here. To excuse the noise, we're very noisy traffic on the A12. We have a 57 Buick. Okay. We've got a nice example here of a Oldsmobile 88. Was that a rocket 88? <laughs> It's not a rocket, right? It's not, not a sure rocket, I'm sure. I <laughs> and this is Jeff Stokes here. He's going to help us um, describe some of these vehicles. Along with uh, Vauxhall Velox, same body shape as the PA Cresta. This looks a later one, probably just early 60s, something like that. Having a look around earlier, going by the rear lights. And moving on next to it, we've got a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Moving on, we've got a Bentley Tourer. Uh, look. The Bentley Tourer? Yeah, not sure of the origins of this one. Maybe one of the, um, the replica ones. Modelled on, not sure what year this is modelled on, but obviously a, a hand built hot rod truck. Uh, nicely done, just made up out of all different bits and pieces. Quite nice. Moving round, although a more modern vehicle, it's still um, an AC Cobra replica and quite a nice example of that with a 427 Ford engine in it. Moving along here, we've got a 68 Mustang. Uh, called the notch back because of the shape of the boot and now uh, this is a rare old beast this this truck here um, it's actually a Fargo made by the Chrysler Corporation it's the the same front end as the Dodge but with the bigger trucks the long wheelbase with the much heavier payload they actually called them a Fargo it's got the same flathead six cylinder engine that they fit in all the DeSotos and the, the Dodges and even the Plymouths of the time so quite a rare beast being converted to 12 volt electric so it makes it just a bit more usable these days but um, I know the owner's just bought it and he's going to have quite a bit of work done to it but no that's quite nice moving around here we've got a 57 Ford F100 truck quite a nice example and by some friend of, friends of ours again hasn't had it a great deal of time but he's been gradually doing bits and pieces on it to um, to improve it, make it more usable. But again, quite an unusual truck these, around these days. Alright, this is um, this is Ken's Nomad station wagon. 57 Bel Air Nomad. Certainly probably about six of these in the country. Obviously a member of the Tri-Chevy Club. 
I know Ken's had this many, many years now and uh, it's his baby. You never ever see it dirty and always very nice condition. A stunning example of, a, of quite a rare car. Going along next to it, we've got the good old Prefect 100E. Again, no. I think this has been bought for um, for a project, so it's going to be done up and possibly a different size engine in it and that sort of thing. But it's a good basis to start with. And here we have our own vehicle. Yeah, this Running. is our own. This is a 1961 Chrysler New Yorker, and it's the only one in the country. It's actually a, a four-door hardtop, so it's the only four-door hardtop in the UK. There's a few others, but it, they're different body styles, but this is the only four-door hardtop. It's a lovely little rod here, owned by um, friends of ours. Got a nice big Chrysler engine in it really um, unusual design as you can see from the design of the screen and even the fact that it's got a hard top is quite unusual solid uh, machined alloy wheels on the front very nicely made smoothed out chassis that's been painted body color as well and if you have a look around inside inside the cockpit a lovely fabricated aluminium dashboard with all the matching levers handbrake even a like a silvery glittery trim to match just a, a stunning hot rod and this, and this is Dave's Chevy Nova yep 327 Chevy Nova um, again not that common a car really but still quite nice nice big V8 in it and as you can see up for sale £11,000 or near offer if anyone's interested in it <laughs> a nice little rat rod here 1931 what a good 21 stud um, flathead V8 in it. Again, as you can see, exactly uh, in the style of the original old American hot rods. So sort of just cobbled together, built for lightweight, just really to function, go fast and, and look cool. And here's the uh, eight ball diner sign that you have to look out for when you drive along the A12 to find this venue. Okay, so I'll show you the, the venue itself. <laughs> Here's Natalie and Rod again who run the venue and we just had a lovely little tour around. And this is Jeff Stokes of Brentwood Classic Workshops. And um, so Jeff is the one with all the knowledge because he looks after classic vehicles for a living. <laughs> It is. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 I've done a lot of that over the past <laughs> couple of weeks. Mate. You've been very busy. Well, the thing is also, he's alone, he's just the, the, the rocker in the 50s hot rods. They have all different theme nights, doing all different types of vehicle and owners clubs. And I mean, the, the idea was this, was to have a get together during the day where people could meet up in the daylight to have a look at the cars, have something to eat and a chat about the really loud music of the clubs and not being able to see the cars in the dark. And this is what has um, come about with the help of this gentleman there. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this? <laughs> Can we have an Hello. introduction? What's your name? My name? Yes. Um, Peter. Hello Peter, and how Hello. are you connected to this venue? I'm one of the owners. Oh! <laughs> Well, I can't show you out the videos. <laughs> you can do what you like and edit me out. I don't, I, don't, I don't particularly like videos, to be honest, or anything like that. You both know that. Thank you, Rod. My old friend. Just look at it as publicity. <laughs> yeah, this is going on YouTube to publicise your lovely diner. Excellent. That's good. That's what it's all about, really. And, you know, to be honest with you, most of the staff that work here just love 
once a month on Sundays this day. Yeah. It's it's just different. It's different than during the week. It's different than all the other car events we do. It's different than all the bike events we do. It's, and, it, and not being, you can just pan the camera around and see that it looks like it's supposed to look. We yeah. wanted a, an American themed diner, and uh, this That's is what it. You've really. got. <laughs> it does what it says it will on the tin. That's good. Yeah, it's brilliant. We, we, we may have had the idea, but it weren't for this bloke here, it wouldn't have happened. Oh. Now, fortunately, though, you, you come up with the idea. It's just one of them things. It's a joint venture, and you know. Okay. So, a, a quick pan around the vehicles, and. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed my lovely video here of this brilliant venue. And it's a lovely atmosphere on a Sunday afternoon. It's a free to come in. Obviously, you know, it's nice to buy some food and drink inside, which is all very nice, very good quality. But uh, it's just a lovely day out. So thank you and goodbye from Ruthie in Essex. Bye-bye.